there was this kid, see? Creepy little fucker next door. He had glasses and something wrong with his foot. I don't know, seven maybe? Anyhow, every time his daddy went fishing, he'd bring this kid back some frogs. He built this fence around him in the backyard, we treated him like they was pets or something. And we'd try and go over and look at him, but he'd always start screaming to his mother to come out and get rid of us. Real snotty like. So one day, me and June got sick of him being such a goody goody, and we went over and put all his dumb old frogs in this sack. You never heard such a fuss. Ree, ree, ree. <laughs> Slimy bastards. Frogs. We was planning to just let them go all over the place, but we figured when they started jumping and screaming and all, they was asking for it. So we taken them out front to the porch and we throwed them one by one out into the street. Man, it was great seeing how far we could throw them over the back of our backs and under our legs. Oh, it was really great watching them fly through the air and then slap all over somebody's car window or something. <sighs> so then the next day we was waiting. And he comes out looking for stupid frogs, and he don't see any, and he gets so crazy, crying and everything. So me and June goes over there, and we tell him that we seen this big mess out in the street. <laughs> and he goes out there, and he sees all them frog legs and bodies and shit all over there everywhere. <laughs> Man, it was so funny. We about killed ourselves laughing. <laughs> I never had so much fun in one day in my whole life.